we received shocking new video into our newsroom. It shows a Washington County deputy grabbing a man by the neck and bringing him to the ground. Good evening. Thank you for being with us, everybody. I'm Steve Dunn. And I'm Deborah Knapp. Now, two years after that incident, the deputy has been charged with misconduct and additional charges could be coming. Keaton Thomas live in the newsroom with the story. Keaton Sheriff Pat Garrett addressed this with you today. What he say about it? Yeah, I spoke with him one on one this afternoon. He said that he knows this video right here. He said it's awful and he says that they are working to change. And in light of that movement that we're seeing in Portland and around the country as it relates to police brutality, he said this case is important. In March of 2018, Albert Molina's attorneys say he was arrested for riding a bike while drunk. During the booking process inside the Washington County Jail, you can see Deputy Ryan Alden rush at Molina, grab him by the neck, and drag him to the ground. The video is horrific. Molina's attorney, Jason Kafori, said he suffered serious head and neck injuries, spent more than two weeks in the hospital. He said Molina could have permanent brain damage. Initially, Alden wasn't charged, and that action apparently did not violate any of the sheriff's office policies. Washington County Sheriff Pat Garrett told me they're now reassessing their review process when it comes to use of force. This case is enormously important. It calls upon us, it demands us to do, to do better when it comes to reviewing events. Um, deputies use great judgment day and night, uh, but that doesn't, I'm not going to use that as an excuse to say that this case is not important. It is important. All this comes as protesters around the nation and in the Pacific Northwest continue calls for change in policing. This is an institutional problem about police abuse of citizens. And frankly, if the citizens weren't taken to the streets, none of this would come to light. And it's a testament to the power of the people to change the government structures. Now, the district attorney's office charged uh, Alden last week with misconduct. That's after they learned uh, of an old email that included several racial epithets. And also, the DA will be bringing this case to a grand jury again later on this month for possible assault charges. That's after they learned the full extent of Molina's injuries.